Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning, you guys. I'm on my way to the other side of my state. I'm going to Fairbolt. Um, literally on the other side of the Twin Cities. I'm going to pull over and get my directions going. And then the next time you guys see me, I'll be past St. Paul because I cannot deal with St. Paul. Okay. We're past St. Paul's in my rear view. It wasn't as bad as I anticipated. I think the anticipation was way worse. I saw some things. I still feel like I should vomit. But overall, it could have been a lot worse. Okay, guys. I've finished my pick. It is 11 o'clock. Um, I'm not going to stop at any thrift stores, I don't think, because I spent $200. <laughs> uh, the first sale was good. I thought that was going to be the great sale. Oh no, it was sale number two. That was great. Um, this, she, her husband starts taking me out of town and I'm going, where are we going and do I even want to go here? Where, where are we? And uh, she goes, well, I can go up to my mom's and she's got a few pieces and she sent me these pictures and it was just like curio stuff. She had some really, really nice ironstone pieces in there. I didn't pop on them because I have, I have them already and they're not selling. So I didn't grab any more. I don't buy more if something hasn't sold. So she had some transfer wear. She had some in Occupied Japan. And I could see those in the pictures. Well, she didn't send me a picture of the garage. <laughs> oh my gosh, the garage. Do you remember me yesterday saying I needed Christmas stuff? I don't need Christmas stuff. No, no. She had shiny brights. She had a blow mold. She had, I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I am going to head home. I'm going to go through dog's been without me all day and she's kind of freaking out so she's being a little freaky freak about the fact that i'm leaving at any point you know she thinks i'm gonna disappear let's go through everything though I, so i've got weird lighting happening i'm aware that it's weird let me see if i can cool that off a little warm it up better and less harsh so this was the vase I wanted to get for sure. I was hoping to get this one. It's a wonderful Japanese hand-painted vase. When I got there, what I found was she had some matching um, toothpick holders. <coughs> so wonderful little matching toothpick holders. Very similar to the vase. Um, this is made in occupied Japan. This is made in Japan. So, but they're very, I mean, Honestly, I would swear they were brought together. And he was saying that his uncle was stationed in Japan. So that's probably where she got a lot of her things that were Japanese. He was also stationed in Germany. I didn't buy any of the German pieces. Um, there was this little number. So this set here. I don't know anything about this set. Aside from it was really, really charming. It was one place setting. That was it one place setting. So it says Stuberville Ivory. So it's got a saucer, a cup, and a little dessert plate. And I just thought it was very charming. She just had the one set, so I picked it up. I don't know. I might... It was a wild card, for sure. I mean, it was just one of those, I think I gotta have that. <laughs> Sometimes you just follow your instincts. And I just like this one. I think it's actually printed in there, but let's see on the bottom. It says semi, semi porcelain. I don't think I know what that means, but they're carnations, little pink carnations. And then it's kind of got this like hammered interior of the bowl. I had not seen this before. So I found that interesting. Don't you find that interesting? It's got the texture in it. You see it? I've not seen that. So I picked that up. I'll have to do more research on it. 
No, oh, this bass came from there as well. So this is metal. Um, this is one of those cut into the enamel. You can see the little etched into the enamel base. I don't know what these are going for. I like them. I think they're pretty. I think this one in particular is very modern, very pretty looking. I liked it. So I bought it. So this set was her set and it is authentic Vernon wear made in the USA. And I, again, I don't know anything about Vernon wear, but it came with a sugar, a creamer and a salt and pepper. And I thought they were really cool looking. <laughs> I liked it and I took a chance. So I need to do a little research on that. So far, everything you're seeing is from the first house that I went to. I picked this little charmer up. This is Vaseline wear, obviously. It is probably uranium glass. Um, I do not have a black light to prove that, but my instincts say this is uranium glass. Um, feels a little rough in there. It's tape. So it must have had tape in it at one time, but very nice piece. All of her stuff was well maintained, very well cared for. Also Vaseline glass. I mean, you can... Fenton, hobnail in the blue. Very nice piece. Really pretty, pretty. Let's set that up here. And this one was just different. So this is a toothpick holder. Obviously it's a log on a crisscross and I had never seen anything like that before. So I picked it up. It's one of those moments where when I don't know, I don't know anything about it. I have not seen it before. I kind of pick it up. It does look like there's back stamp on the bottom, which I'm going to need my jeweler's loop to look at because I cannot make it out. Um, this one, I just thought the pug dog on it, you guys, the pug dog. Is that not just stinking cute? Look at it. Ah, little cute little pug dog on there. I think she's chasing flies. I don't know what she's doing over there. And this is take your pick. It said on it. I thought that was really cute and it just had this little hand painted floral on it. It is made in, oh my God, they make it harder and harder. I don't know. I can't read it. It's not printed, it's not stamped complete. So it's gonna be hard, I'll figure it out though. I mean, I'm gonna have to do some research on all the pieces. That'll be one of them I have to look up partial back stamp on. I think this is satin glass. It's in the yellow. Let's see if the light, the light's kind of hitting it just wrong, isn't it? Cause you're seeing it way brighter than what it actually is. Let me see if I can shelter it just a little bit. Anyway, it's got these hand painted little flowers on it. You can see they're raised a little bit. Oh my gosh, you guys. Also another toothpick holder. She collected toothpick holders. I wanna say on that table alone, there were like 500 toothpick holders. They were overwhelming, very overwhelming. Some of the mini Santa cups. So these would be toothpick holders as well. But right now it's, we're going into Christmas, mini Santas. Y'all, this one's left in. I got the hiccups. And two more mini Santas. So she had quite a few little mini Santas. This one's winking. Thank you. I, it's been a long time since I've seen these in this good of condition. I mean, honestly, the woman took excellent care of all of her stuff. It was such a pleasure. Look at this, not, not any bit of that paint is coming off. I would have thought it was a reproduction, but I just know it's not, you know? from the person who collected it, she just took that good care of her stuff. And it, it was really a pleasure to be 
part of this experience where I got to see all the stuff that she had and to help at least take parts of it home and, and give it a good home. I feel like this one is probably more special than it, than it looks. So it says H and C on the bottom. It's got a crown. It's like a little creamer. Um, I mean, she had it as part of her collection. Just, I, I'm going to have to do some research because my instinct was saying, take it. It's so plain, but at the same time, I feel like it's probably one of the more special pieces. <laughs> Sometimes my instincts, right? Sometimes I would come out and go, wah, wah, no, it wasn't right. I like this one. Um, I don't, I don't know why. I have a creamer that's like this as well. It has not sold the tin pieces. I'm the only one that seems to like these tin pieces. I really like them. I don't know. I'll probably do a little Christmas piece in this and sell it so it won't get sold like it is. It'll end up getting either a little deer and a bottle brush tree on it. It'll get a little makeover, but I think this is charming. I think it's charming. I could be wrong. And another little tin one looks like a spittoon. Um, would hold toothpicks as well. I just think it's just, it's just freaking adorable. It's freaking adorable. Fight me on it. <laughs> Come at me, tell me it's not. And I know this is not politically correct, um, but it is what it is. She's just a little mammy doll. Um, mammy toothpick holder. I don't know where she would have gotten this one or who made it. And I almost destroy it. I had these moments in their presence where y'all I had so many moments where I was sitting there thinking I'm going to break this and they're never going to speak to me again. Okay. Then we have this one. I think this is Nippon. Who is this? How are hand painted and knit? Yeah, it's Japan. Hand painted in Japan, and it had the raised gold, so I kind of figured it was um, slight gold missing on the back here. Just very nice blue flowers on it. Love it. Loved it. And I own them now. This matches a candy dish that I own. So there's no stamp on the bottom, but I feel like this would be one of those Bavarian pieces. I'll look it up. It's probably gonna be Nippon because whenever I think I know what it is, I'm usually wrong. Um, but I have a candy dish that is the same blue, the same flowers, the same, I'm like, it's just too much like it not to be part of that collection of whoever that so I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up but I think it's part of that same designer dish designer I think it's a very cool piece very beautiful cobalt blue on there look at this one guys Fenton Anvil so this would be it's purple they call it black glass but it is purple you can see when I get the light through it yeah, there's no light to come through it, is there? Well, I can see the purple, uh, but it's, a lot of people will call this black glass. And I had not seen an anvil before, so I did pick this one up. A lot of the art glass ones I left behind because I felt like I could not give them the amount of money that that collection deserved. I did pick up, obviously, a couple pieces, but I didn't want to give them some low ball offer because it was such an incredible collection that I felt like there's going to be another collector out there that really needs those pieces. So this is just, I had to, <laughs> I had to have this one, um, in the black glass and well, I, it's my first black glass, purple amethyst glass. Um, so I am excited to have it. <laughs> I don't find that glass very often. So to have that one just sitting in front of me and I'm like, don't take it, yes, take it, don't take it, yes, take it, don't take it, yes. 
the Yes Take It one. I don't know anything about this one. I I just love it. I love all the little intricate detail. Look at it. It's charming. It's just fantastic. Exactly like it is, it's fantastic, but it could, depending on what it is, I don't know that stamp. It looks like a clover of some kind. It does have a little chip in the base, so I took it home because it might get a makeover into, I don't know, another Christmas thing. Yeah, who knows? We gotta get we gotta get quicker because I'm there's a lot of stuff. We might have to do a two-parter. Do we have to do a two-parter here? What did I drop? Another one. Oh. Uh, that vase had friends. So there's another mini one. Um, also occupied Japan. So that matches that vase. We may have to do a two-parter. We're already at 16 minutes. All right. This, tomorrow there's going to be another day of, of haul video. Because this we're only going to get through the first one. I'm not even... Y'all, there's still more in here. Okay. Another Nippon or Made in Japan matches that big vase. I said to him, these, these match. <laughs> so he took them home and another one. So there were four small ones and then a large base. I will have to do more research. There's another one. And this one again, this little country scene, look at it. It was just unusual. I had not seen one like this. So I picked it up. Because it was like, look at the little country farmhouse. Little cottage core design on there. That's a cottage. That's a right proper cottage. So I, I'm i like, yes. It was really hard to decide. Because there were, I'm going to pop up a picture that she sent me. That was all of the ones on her dining room table. And there's more. <laughs> it was so overwhelming to look at all those. And I know there's gonna be a lot of you shouting at the TV right now that I should have taken home a lot more of that Fenton art glass, but I just couldn't do it. And then I got this lovely Depression Era, obviously. Um, and I had to have it. The green was screaming my name. My mom had a set of green, not in this pattern. Maybe that's why I'm so drawn to the green. But um, I mean, blue's my favorite color. Why in the world am I taking home green? I only took one blue. <laughs> there was a lot of blue on that table. All right, there's more. I'm not done yet. Okay, so this was the sugar bowl that went with the creamer and the salt and pepper shaker. You can see why I was drawn to it, right? I mean, look at the colors. I don't know this designer, made in the USA. I'm gonna have to do some more research, but the crisscross pattern, the green and the yellow, really caught my eye and this was actually hers and not her mother-in-law's and I just found it pretty. It's just pretty to me. It's very eye-catching and I think it's very usable now. So if it's not like a high value piece of any kind where I'd put it online, it's going to go in the shop because I feel like it's just a very usable design. And then this one, okay, so this one was a little selfish of me. It's carnival glass. Look at the ripples. I mean, oh my gosh, you guys, the carnival glass. It's just gorgeous. Just iridescent and pretty. That one might have been a little selfish on my part, but I did drive all that way. <laughs> I took that home, okay. And then the last thing from the first house was a set of four snowmen plates that are going to go in the booth for Christmas. These are not old. They gourmet chef plates. Um, they're just cute little plates for Christmas. So four of these exact plates, they are going in the booth for Christmas. So that's everything from the first house. And because it took so long and we don't want to have an hour long video, the next half is gonna be tomorrow's video. So thanks for watching everyone. If you haven't yet gotten one of your Happy Junket shirts, don't forget to click the links below. It supports me, it supports this channel, and I appreciate, you don't even know how much I appreciate you guys for getting your shirts. Thank you so much. If you wanna send me a thrift flip 
challenge. The PO box is right here. It's also in the description below. And if you want to send me a coffee because I'm on half a tank, you can do that. It's the money for that also goes back into the channel. It's like Patreon without the monthly commitment. And then I was asked, because I mentioned I'm going to be doing some crafting coming up. I was asked by Kathleen and Melon if I could put a supply list up and I will put it on the website. What I'll do is I will write a post because um, we got some Christmas crafting videos coming. So I will do a quick post online. We'll get that up so you guys know what to order um, if you want to craft along with me. So thanks for watching everyone. Happy junkin! Bye! Visit my blog peonylanedesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more junkin videos.